Good morning and a most blessed Thursday to you. I cannot believe that we are just a couple of days away from the fourth Sunday in the Advent season. This season has gone by so quickly and uh, last night it was such a joy to be able to share once again the story of Christ's birth with families of Living Word. And I was thinking this week about about this time that we're having together this morning and what I wanted to share with you. And I was thinking about the birth of Christ and what that means and and it really boiled down to um, Christ entering into humanity because he is how God wants us to know him. When we are in our full selves, um, man, born of man, born with the nature of sin of man, uh, God cannot be near us. We cannot be near God. He is holy and pure and almighty and righteous and um, and so completely not okay with who we are in our sin. But he so wants us to know him. And so he entered into humanity, and that is what we are celebrating or looking to celebrate on Christmas morning, that that God entered into humanity so that we can know him in Christ. We can know him as that Christ child, as the young man who who goes and um, and is at his father's house in the temple. That is... That is how we know God as he walks this earth, as he is baptized, as he uh, heals people, teaches people, performs miracles. And we know God through that man who then goes to the cross and dies and then rises three days later. And that is how we are to know God as the man who triumphs the God-man who triumphs over sin, death, and the devil. The God-man who calls us to be his people, to be one with him. The God-man who calls us to be forgiven and righteous and saints, part of his own flock. And that is the joy that we have in Christmas. That is the joy that we have, that we know that God loves us. And because God loves us, he wants us to know him. And because he is so perfect and pure and holy, we cannot know him except through Jesus, except in Jesus and except by Jesus. So as we are finishing out this Advent season, I really hope that you are able to take some time um, in worship this Sunday, and then in your prayer times uh, for the rest of the week, really considering what it means that Christ, Christ entered into humanity, that God entered into humanity in order not only to die for our sins and rise triumphant over them, but also so that we can know him and that we can have an intimate personal relationship with him and that we can continue to grow in faith, in knowledge, in love, and uh, and keep maturing in that relationship that we have with him. So I am so much looking forward to worshiping Christ, worshiping our Lord and Savior this Sunday. Before we do though, let us turn to him in prayer. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for entering into humanity. We thank you that you entered in so that we may know you. We thank you that though we are not worthy, you have counted it right and worthy to, to enter into humanity, to suffer death on our behalf and to rise victorious, to give us that victory over death, sin, and the devil. Lord, we ask that as we enter into this final week of Advent, that not only can we celebrate the incarnation, celebrate the Christ child born, but that we can look toward the second coming, look toward the eternal time in which we will live and share 
in your goodness and glory, continuing to be in relationship and, uh, and knowing you purely and holy. Lord, we lift all of this to you in the awesome name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have an amazing rest of your week, and I am so looking forward to singing the Lord's praises once again in just a few days. God bless. <laughs>